how to build a business model for an organic aromatic farm. We will base our reflection on the business model Canva, which is a tool invented by the Swiss businessman Alexander Osterwalder. It is useful to implement and follow the development of each activity forming the enterprise. It is a strategic management template, and this is how your aromatic plants production will make you earn money. It is composed of nine parts. First day activities. We are talking about all activities of production and product transformation. It depends on which kind of aromatic plant you will plant. Partners. These are all the external allies of the farm through which you can evolve and improve your offer. Producers often work with cooperatives to limit the cost of purchasing specific materials or to centralize a production activity such as distillation. This globally concerns all partners who will transform your production into a finished product, for instance, perfumers. Aromatic and medicinal plants are used in aromatherapy, medicine, homeopathy, in the food or fragrance industry. Key resources. These are all material means, furniture, equipment, vehicles, immaterial, competence, expertise, database, people and finance that the company must bring together to produce. In case of this type of production, it is linked with the purchase of specific equipment. This also considers the labor forces. Value proposition. The value propositions are services and products developed to meet customers' needs. It's important to know what makes you different compared to other producers. Here, the organic way of production is an asset on the aromatic plants market. Organic products are highly demanded, especially for the cosmetic or medicinal market. Customer segment. In your business model, you have to start with knowing your customers. It is very important to know the different segments they belong to in order to in order to offer them a product that suits them. Don't forget that customers will come to you attracted by the organic label and with strong demands in terms of quality. Customer relationships. This section describes the type of relationship that a company has with its customer segments. This is beyond the product sold, for example, ensuring the loyalty of your customers, acquiring new ones, or facilitating the act of purchase. Channels. In this component, you will have to ask yourself where your product will be sold, whether this sale will be made directly or not, in a local network or not. You also need to ask yourself how customers will know about your offer. That's why identifying your customer segment is important. Also keep in mind that the organic market has its own sales channels such as specialized shop of market. Cost. It is necessary to assess all the costs for the proper functioning of the activity described. In the context of this production, we will distinguish the cost at the implantation of the production, soil preparation, buying your plants, planting, and the cost after, fertilize, weed, harvest, or transform. There are also costs linked with the organic way of production, such as certification. And finally, income. Income from production mainly comes from the commercialization of organic plants or essential oils produced. Moreover, agrotourism is a new way for producers to add value to their work and production. It's also a profitable way to communicate about your product. Also, don't forget that organic agriculture is often subsidized, which increases its total gross product.